So I'm going to talk about CoreSmart International, and if I look a little bit tired, it's because we launched yesterday here at the London Book Fair. Um, CoreSmart is a company which was founded by uh, by the major U.S. textbook publishers in in, in the U.S. In, t in 2006. So it was quite a visionary move by them, and they were recognizing that the environment for higher education was changing. These companies, many of whom have investments in China, are Pearson, Cengage Learning, Wiley, McGraw-Hill, and Macmillan. CourseMode is now the largest provider of e-textbooks um, in the US. It's got 2.5 million users worldwide. We have 20,000 textbooks on our platform. And essentially what we offer are two services. We offer a, sale, a sales tool for a digital sampling of textbooks to professors. And we also offer to students uh, an online e-rental service so they can rent textbooks digitally for periods of time instead of having to purchase them physically in the bookstore. Uh, we've experienced uh, triple digit growth year on year and we have just announced our international plans yesterday. I wanted to show you this picture so you could understand the environment within which we're working. This is a typical example of people sitting in a cafe using wireless with tablets and smartphones and laptops all connected. And this is what we see our students doing. So we had to understand clearly what their environment was like before we set up the platform. They're very connected and they have 3G, 4G mobile, they have Wi-Fi, they have broadband at home and in their dormitories. So we can assume that they're going to be online most of the time. They have wonderful, wonderful devices. The technology race for innovation leadership in devices has benefited students a lot. And they're reading digitally. We've heard about the big rise in, in reading in consumer ebooks markets, and that's transferring over to all other publishing markets too. So when we look at what students are doing and ask them what they're doing, we see that this digital shift is really happening in the US, uh, where uh, reading on iPads and tablets is really beginning to take over from laptops. And students themselves believe that tablets, um, iPads, will transform the way that they learn in the future. And in 2012, uh, a study conducted by the Pearson Foundation showed that students are now saying that, print is, uh, that digital is preferable, whereas in 2011, they were saying that print was preferable. And outside observers recommend or, or talk about the US overall digital course market for materials, digital materials will reach just under two billion um, by the end of next year. So we're really seeing a lot of growth in the digitization of e-resources e and course materials in the US. We haven't seen that yet in the UK and in European markets where students are still saying that they like books. <coughs> However, they are online. They're going online for journals. They're going online to look at free resources like Wikipedia. There's a lot of online activity. And of course, they're online for Facebook and for Twitter and for their email and, and for Google. Um, but part of the reason that they haven't gone online yet for e-textbooks for e is because there wasn't a compelling offer. But as, pu as publishers, when publishers look at each different publishing market, we recognize that each sector is different and has specific and very different needs. And in the education business, the core textbooks are still very valuable because their page layout is incredibly important in fulfilling the learning need. And this is actually quite a difficult thing to do digitally. So they had to wait until technology was available for this to happen on a mass market basis. Also, the way selling works for higher, ed for higher education materials in universities is very different to other sectors. The sales teams go to visit professors, the professors recommend books to students, the bookstores stock them, the students buy them. It's a very different way that the industry operates. <coughs> professors uh, um, and faculty in institutions sometimes are quite slow to change when it comes to using digital. They have their habits and they like their habits. And because they are very important influencers to students and what students do, it was very important to engage them as well. And all of them are concerned, and we are all concerned, with the overall improvement of learning outcomes for these students. So this is why CourseMart was set up, and as you can see here, this is our family of products. Uh, CourseMart is available on the web and on all different devices. 
I just wanted to explain what makes us different. We have the largest catalogue of e-textbooks and e-resources. We have 90% of all the e-textbooks that students use in the US. But also, as a previous speaker talked about, we're web-based. Uh, it's, it's a web-based, account-based system. There aren't any files that are downloaded, so files cannot be traded and sent onto, onto a, a, a site that students would, would download them from. So this is a very secure system for publishing. Um, any device with a web browser, anywhere the student is, they can go and log on to their account and they can access their textbooks. And we have an offering for the entire industry. It was very important for us to work with bookshops, with institutions, and with sales teams. So we integrate with bookshops and offer a service that they can sell um, um, our materials. We also integrate with institutions, with Moodle, with Blackboard, with D2L. So we can also integrate into the learning environment the student's in already. And we, we integrate with publisher selling systems so that sales teams can send e-textbook copies uh, automatically to professors. But our e-platform needed to work very well for students if it was going to work. And we have notes, bookmarking, um, highlighting, printing and copying, all enabled for students inside the platform. We have page fidelity with print, which helps in the learning environment. And also, again, it's very important and something which is easy to do with digital, it's optimised for, for um, visually impaired accessibility. The student e-commerce model offers a great uh, alternative to buying a, 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 a printed book. And yesterday when we launched our, our, in our press release, we talked about the pricing in our European site being up to 40% off the physical price um, for a rental period of up to six months. Uh, but we also offer a marketplace for things which didn't start life as textbooks. So for all the accompanying e-resources which the publishers are creating, we offer those, we merchandise those and show them to students so they can buy them all in one place together. So just to briefly mention here what our offering is for each of the industry players that we work with. For publishers we offer a sampling platform. It's a sales tool to help sales teams show products digitally to professors without having to carry them around in a safe and secure way. It also provides an e-commerce platform which is tailored exactly to what students need. For students we offer somewhere where they can go and cost effectively get access to e-textbooks and e-resources. A multi-publisher offering across the entire industry. For bookstores we enable them to get an out-of-the-box e-textbook solution. And for faculty and instructors, well, it's about free access for them across the industry. Um, all publishers are involved on a platform which is tailored exactly to their needs and which has all the books on it. Hello. Okay. CourseMod also, there's been a lot of talk this morning about innovation. CourseMod started in 2006. It was the first digital text platform. It was the first aggregated marketplace for these e-resources. We were also the first textbook provider um, on mobile devices and very quick to respond to new devices such as the Android devices and the Kindle Fire. We were the first cloud-based content provider for textbooks and also the first browser-based system, which is the securest way for publishers to, to, to publish. And just to finalise, talk a little bit about our international plans. Our plans, which we announced yesterday, are centred around the .co.uk website. We've started with an English language website with English language books and e-resources for now. Uh, the, our sampling platform launched about six weeks ago and our e-commerce platform launched yesterday. We're working with many industry partners um, on our launch and I hope that next year we'll be able to talk about plans for different countries. So, thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, are there any questions from the floor on... Course mode. Can I just ask briefly uh, about the level of take up? You know, how I know it's very early days, but on the sampling platform, what, what sort of engagement were you, were you getting? We, we've seen some pretty good engagement, yeah, absolutely. It's been pretty good. We, we've emailed tens and tens of thousands of professors in the UK, um, and they are, they are getting on board. Great. Do you no, have. Sorry. sorry. No, yes. go on. Can you, can you go on. Yes. Do you have any plans to cooperate with the uh, Chinese publishers? 
Um, I'd love to talk to the Chinese publishers, absolutely. I'll be here. And we have a stand at the book fair as well. We're at stand Y805 in the digital zone. So I'd love to speak to people about China. Good. Thank you very much indeed.